The Red Cross flag no longer protected the Ethiopians. The Emperor's presence in Desi attracted attack. When the Christmas bombs stopped falling, Haile Selassie inspected the remains of Desi's Red Cross hospital. It had been hit by 40 bombs. Badoglio had turned to poison gas and the bombing of civilian targets to speed up his civilizing mission. He wanted no awkward European witnesses from the International Red Cross to see the victims of bombing raids and the flesh blistered by gas. But the Red Cross volunteers, British, Swedish, Egyptian, remained. Ethiopian casualties were heavy, but the Emperor's chiefs marched to counterattack. The old warlord Ras Mulugeta marched north. Ras Kassa and Ras Seyum menaced Makale from mountain strongholds. And Ras Imru attacked on the western flank. Badoglio was determined to wipe them out, one by one. He would stop at nothing. The Ethiopian peasant warriors marched slowly north with their wives and a few days' supplies. They fought fiercely, fearlessly, in the only way they knew. Each day at dusk they would withdraw from battle, and they never fought on Sundays. But Haile Selassie knew their best chance of victory lay in guerrilla warfare. Be cunning, be fierce, he told his warriors. Do not mass together. Do not wear like colored clothes. Stay hidden. Strike suddenly. Only the shrewd Ras Imru followed his emperor's advice. His men raided convoys in Italian-held territory, harassed road gangs, seized guns and ammunition. He drove north to the front to consult his commanders and rally the dejected troops. Some warriors responded to their emperor's call and went back to battle, but it was too late. <laughs>